Sorry for any noise. It's summer, the AC is going, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> for so much of my life I've wanted to do YouTube. When I was in fifth grade they asked us what we wanted to be when we grew up, and I wrote down that I wanted to be a YouTuber or an artist. And then in sixth grade we wrote letters to our future selves, and in there I asked, do you have a YouTube channel? It wasn't until I was 14 or 15 that I started uploading, my first video is no longer public, but essentially what had happened is I'd come up with this story idea late at night, and rather than writing all of it down, I decided to just record a video and post it on YouTube. I've since privated it because it has spoilers for the entire story, and also so many things have changed now. I don't want that on my YouTube channel anymore. But I tried some different things. I uploaded some kind of rant commentary style stuff at the beginning about just various things. It was mostly inspired by like people like Joanna Cedia and stuff and like just the kind of YouTube channels that were around that time in like 2017-2018. And as time went on, editing has never been my favorite part of the video making process, so I kind of started moving away from that. I had been writing a lot of songs. I really wanted to be a songwriter at the time, and so I started uploading my songs to YouTube and they started getting more views than my other videos were getting. Like, nothing crazy by any means, but I was going from like two views over three days to like nine views over three days, which at the time felt huge. So I did that for a while, and then just over time, I just wasn't writing songs as much. I can't really tell you why, but it is just so much harder for me to write songs now than it used to be. And it's just not been my main focus creatively for a while now. So I decided to take things in a little bit of a different direction. My friends and I play D&D, &D, and so I decided to edit down one of our sessions and upload it. And I had a really fun time with that, even if editing it was kind of hard, because when I was editing them, I was like 18 in college, but the recording was from when we were in high school. It was just like a little bit cringy, especially because no one knew what they were doing. But it was still just fun to look back on and listen to the funny moments. And then the next video I just rambled about my littlest pet shop collection, and that was super fun to edit. I was gonna say it was fun to record, it wasn't. I lost my footage and had to re-record everything, so that wasn't fun. But <laughs> Both of those videos did pretty well at the time for my channel, and I was going through a really rough time in my life. My first year of college was not good. I think I mentioned it in one of my videos, but I had a really bad first year of college. Because not only was I living on my own for the first time, I really did not have any friends up at school. It took me a really long time to make friends up there. And a lot of my hobbies were music-based, but I was in an apartment with no instruments. I didn't have a piano I could access. I had left my guitar and ukulele at home because I didn't want to store them up there. I was very lonely and didn't have anything to do. And so making videos was something that all I needed was a laptop, and I had a laptop. Making YouTube videos was something I could do on my own time and do as a hobby to just keep myself from going insane, honestly. We are now at over 200 subscribers, which I know on the YouTube scale isn't a lot, but it does mean a lot to me and I'm thankful to everyone that's decided to stick around. And for the friends that have found this channel, thank you guys for always leaving comments. I love you guys. As I get older, I don't think I'd ever want YouTube to be a full-time career. I think the platform is just too unstable as it stands. It's been a fun hobby and it's it's had its challenges. My latest Eurovision ranking video uh, got like 4,000 views, which at first I was really excited about, but that amount of attention, even though like I understand on like an internet scale, it's nothing. But it felt like a lot to someone who was used to getting like max 200 views. The comments were not always the nicest. It was like one thing if people were giving me criticism, or like, hey, I don't know if you know about this, or like, you could have phrased that better, which is fair. I definitely could have. Um, but there was also just a lot of people attacking me, and I'm gonna just cut this out because I don't want people to go to that video and then say stuff. Um, I don't know what the future is. I plan to keep uploading videos about stuff I like. I think consistency at this point is out of the window. I'm gonna get it done when I get it done, when I have time to record, when I have time to edit, when I have a good idea, and I hope to just kind of have this as a little hobby channel in the meantime, and just, again, thank you guys for watching.